Welcome to the Banquet of Love. You will be watching later on the Banquet of Love televised mass for the sick, the elderly, and the disabled people. We are happy to announce to all televiewers that today we celebrate the 25th or Silver Jubilee anniversary of this program, Banquet of Love. I want to share with you its beginnings. The Daughters of St. Paul Missionary Sisters was mandated by the Church to spread the Word of God through the mass media or the media of social communication and guided by our founder, Blessed James Alberione. Communicate the mystery of Christ to all people using all the instruments of social communication. We carry out our mission in the name of the Church, making our own the conviction of St. Paul. Not that I do boast of preaching the gospel, since it is a duty which had been laid on me. I should be punished if I did not preach it. So, in 1990, August 6, on the Feast of the Transfiguration, while Sister Jacomina Cabocos, daughter of St. Paul, was the superior of the community of Davao, the project for the Banquet of Love, TV Mass for the Sick, was started. The enthusiastic organizer of this ministry was the late Sister Sol Cababaros, daughters of St. Paul, followed by many sisters and most of all, the help of the members of the Association of the Pauline Cooperators, like Doctora Meli Dizon, Imperatriz Villarica Garcia, who just died recently. Let us pray for her eternal repose. Lina Oxales, Flora Villalos, Luz Llanillo, Cecilia, Melba Sebastian, Lita de Romal, and most of all, the support of the Archbishop Antonio Mabutas, D.D., the late Archbishop of Davao, and other people who are from Davao, like Mr. Tomas Inigo and others. It went on until there was the newfound internet. So since 2008, we uploaded it in the YouTube Pauline's RTV, Facebook, and www.paulines.ph blog. To commemorate this 25th Thanksgiving celebration, we put up a project last 2014, a share of free 100 Visayan Bible for the 100 poor JKK or Gagmain Kristuhano Katilingban in every parish of Davao, Tagum, Mati, Oriental, Northern Davao, Southern Davao, Kidapawan, Cotabato. To our faithful audience, especially the sick, the handicapped, and those who are far from the church, we thank you and continue to pray for you, to share to you the life-giving power of the Holy Eucharist. The Daughters of St. Paul, with our Archbishop Romulo Valles and the clergy of the Archdiocese of Davao, thank our faithful sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators for your continual support in the mission of spreading the Word of God through the Banquet of Love for the Sick. And we also thank our good benefactors, especially ABS-CBN staff, especially the manager, Ms. Trisha Corpos. Thank you and good morning. Happy 25th anniversary to all. Serve the Church in the work that the Divine Teacher entrusted to you. Go and teach all nations using the press, cinema, television, all the means of communication. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago, Stu and Nancy Santiago, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montanez and Family, Anflocor Group of Companies, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Children, Chino, Chian, Casey, Neng and Alot, Royal Bread House Incorporated, 
Quilan's Food House, Dimdi Center and Dimdi Builders, Teresita Villa Abrilie, T. Linau Trucking Services, iCrafter Optical Incorporated, Dabao Durian Laundry Services Company, Chardon, Esper Laundry Services, Camper Realty Corporation, Ampi Icasas and Family, Protasio Takandong, Renato and Porita Lorenzo and Family, JDB Diversified Incorporated, DOVV Sales Incorporated, Consolidated Plywood Industry Incorporated, Davao Bonifacio Motors, Davao LB Junk Store, Anonymous, Friends of Paul Lines, Melvin Aviles, Ramline Resources Incorporated, Junisha Pasqua, Jess and Doctora Melly Dison and Family, Vita Rivera's Bookkeeping Services, Attorney and Mrs. Ellie Britannia and Family, Ramline Resources, Pablo Sol Cruz and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Aris Batum, Martina Maria Teresa Punong Bayan, and Rudolfo and Malu Ato. Offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity. This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offerers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring groups, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista and family, Alex P. Montañez and family, Charlene and Sally San Jose of Chipens, Dove Sales Incorporated, Lourdes Dulatre and family, Don Cesario Villa Abrilie Foundation, represented by Jesusita Villa Abrilie, Jess De La Cruz and family, represented by Mr. and Mrs. Cynthia Liston and Matilde De La Cruz. Thanksgiving intentions and blessings of Agro Industrial Foundation College of the Philippines, Incorporated, Mr. and Mrs. Valeriano Del Mundo and Family, Phoenix Petroleum Philippines, Incorporated of Dennis Uy, Porky's Best, Chings Lutong Bahay, Quilan's Food House, Leandro's Restaurant and Catering Services, Cecil Snack Inn of Ginoo Family, Malu Cadilena and Family, Farah Jane Ferrando, Engineer Victor Billiones, Lani Diaz, Jess and Dr. Melly Dizon, Sophie Suluwaga, Lita Dorumal, Melba Sebastian, Linda Luga, Nene Villarica, Charina Sanz, Sol Di Velos, Florence Alejandre, Mark Chufilo, Engineer Jonathan Dongyapon and family, Ruben Basalo and family, Erlinda Torrejos of Natis Lechon House, and more Thanksgiving intentions of Alex P. Montañez and family for providing the new backdrop. Birthday intentions of Gigi Coronel and Roselia Fernandez for the successful board exam of Sara Isabel San Jose Stewart for the successful business of Dr. and Mrs. Tomas Monteverde, recovery and healing of Rudolfo, Mila Villa Abrilie, Germin Chu, Engineer Julio Giuchino, Attorney Claudio Montañez, and Jess De La Cruz, good health of Sofia Basalo, for the eternal repose of Luciana, all benefactors and sponsors of Pauline's RTV programs, Felicidad Sembrano, Ruby Ana, Constancia, Antonio Senor, and Marutas. Sick. Father, your son accepted our sufferings to teach us the virtue of patience in human illness. 
Hear the prayers we offer for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, or disease realize that they are chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to Christ in his sufferings for the salvation of the world who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our readings exhort us to pay extra attention to God's word as it is being proclaimed in the liturgy, to savor the words and ask the Holy Spirit to open our hearts so that we may understand the teaching being revealed to us. We must be humble to admit that we cannot understand God's word all at once. Hence, we need patience and the help of God's Spirit. In this celebration, let us open ourselves to the Father's invitation to listen to His beloved Son. For Jesus alone has the words of eternal life. He alone can lead us back to the Father. The presider for this celebration is Most Reverend Archbishop Emeritus Fernando Capalia, D.D. And the concelebrants are Father Daniel McNamara, S.J., Father René Ritardo, Father Abed Bernal, SSP, and Father Jerome Palma, SSP. The choir during this Mass is the Regional Major Seminary of Davao, Catalunan Grande, Davao City. Come, let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand for the entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And Brothers and sisters, let us be aware of the presence of God who is everywhere, but especially in the core of our being, who supports us day and night with His love and His power. And to prepare us to celebrate the sacred mysteries, it has called to mind the many times that we have offended this presence of God in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions. Let us pause briefly in silence to examine ourselves. And now in humility, we all say together, I confess, oh, Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my most people's fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, 
all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-loving God, who taught by the, the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Elijah preaches God's word against King Ahab and his wicked queen Jezebel, and so is persecuted. God sends an angel who restores Elijah physical and moral strength to continue his journey and prophetic mission. The first reading. From the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him and ordered, get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate and drank, then strengthened by the food he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The spirit we have received from God is a kindly and compassionate spirit. By being true to our spirit, we make our life a pleasing offering to God. The second reading. From the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven. Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reverend Fathers, 
sisters, daughters of St. Paul, sponsors of the TV Mass, my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. The Responsoria Psalm, beautifully sung by the cantor, expresses our response to the message of the first reading from the Book of Kings. We say with the cantor, taste and see, taste and eat, the goodness, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Yes, in the first reading, we see the goodness of the Lord in the way Elijah was able to walk 40 days and 40 nights from where he was to the mountain called Horeb. And it was not an easy walk, 40 days and 40 nights. Physically not easy, but this, this first reading is also an image of all of us who have to walk from where we are to the presence of God, to be with God, to be united with God. In the first reading, the, the mountain Horeb is, is also called Mount Carmel. And the word Carmel means garden of God. And in the spirituality of the church, especially of the Carmelite spirituality, the mountain is also understood as God, the presence of God. So we all have to walk from where we are to be with God. And uh, this is realized in the gospel when God himself in human form comes down to present himself, not only as a, a food, physical food that people can eat to be nourished, but uh, as the presence of God himself in human form, flesh and blood. But the difficulty of some people in this time, they could not believe that this guy who is just uh, one, of our, one of our neighbors could be God himself. They did not have the faith to see God in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, uh, St. Augustine had a prayer which should be the prayer of all of us today and for the rest of our lives. Those of us who want to be united with God to be always in the presence of God, to be one with God in everything and in every way. St. Augustine prayed, Lord, you made us, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. So all of us cannot rest until we return to the God who created us. That need to return, that need to walk, Long, long walk, not physical walk, but the journey that is the inner journey, which is the journey of the heart, the heart that is attuned to the love of God. Of course, we have many, many ways of uh, showing our love for God, Holy Mass, prayers, pilgrimages, many other sacramental, sacramental uh, activities that we have. All those are good help, but the essence of being with God is to love God, to love God according to, to the book of Deuteronomy and repeated by Jesus, to love God with all our heart with all our mind, with all our soul. And this is not easy these days because as we walk, the needs of the body, 
and the needs of the spirit or the, in, or the mind sometimes can prevent us from answering the needs of, this, of the soul that wants to be with God. And so today as we, as we thank God for the 25 years of this TV Mass here in Dabao, we would like also to ask the Lord that uh, He will give us the Spirit that will help us uh, have what we call the third eye of the faith. We have two eyes, but the third eye of the faith is to be able to, to feel the presence of God everywhere and to see the reflections of God everywhere. You might ask, what are the general uh, reflections of God everywhere? The, these are what we call the, the transcendentals, the three things, truth, goodness, and beauty. Wherever there is truth, goodness, and beauty, these are the reflections of God who is himself truth, goodness, and beauty. And I think all of us are able to see that and to experience that. And we hope that this human experience of the transcendentals, truth, goodness, and beauty, can help us go deeper and walk deeply toward the mountain that is God, the inner journey of the heart. And the heart has, time, has difficulty in focusing itself on the God who created it. But we have to pray with St. Augustine all the time, Lord, you made us and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. The bread of the Eucharist is food for the way to the Mount of Horeb for Elijah and for all of us. But the bread is not, it's not just the physical bread. It's not just the physical wine. The bread of life is Jesus himself possessing our hearts. That is the bread of life. And in the gospel of today, Jesus said, whoever believes has eternal life. So we need to believe. But that is also difficult these days because there are many things that prevent us from believing, from perceiving God's presence in the world where there is goodness, there is truth, and there is beauty. We end our reflection by uh, thanking the ABS-CBN and the sisters for making possible this TV Mass for those who cannot go to church on Sundays. I think it is a great contribution to help us be in the presence of God at least, at least once a week for those who cannot go to church. We pray for that purpose. And uh, we, we ask also the help of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, who can help us in the journey. He is also what we call Our, our Lady of the Way. He, join, he is with us on the way to the heart of Jesus. Amen. Because we need faith, a deepening of that faith, we now renew our, the profession of our faith as we recite the Nicene Creed. All together, I believe. Amen. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God did not made, but the Son shall be the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the just the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and most holy Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray that like the Lord Jesus, our lives may become gift pleasing to God. With confidence we pray, Lord, be the strength of your people. Lord, be the strength of your people. May the Eucharist be the summit and pant of the life of the church for every believer. Let me pray. Lord, Lord be the strength of your people. May all our priests grow daily in their commitment to Christ and his church and lead the worshiping community to a deeper desire to partake in the reception of the living bread, we pray. Be Lord, be the strength of your people. May young people recognize that they are not only objects of the church's pastoral care, but also agents and co-workers in the church's apostolate of love and service, we pray. Lord, be the strength of your people. May all of us gather together for the Sunday liturgy, unite our struggles, our hopes and our whole selves to Christ, and that we too may become a fragrant offering to God, we pray. Lord, be the strength of your people. That our RTB sponsors, benefactors, cooperators may continue to receive from God all the graces they need to live a joyful Christian life, we pray. Lord, be the strength of your people. Father, look on your children and grant our petitions. Draw us closer to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church. For in your mercy, you have given them to be offered, and by your power, you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your, your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he enjoyed his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew of all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For oh, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Romulo, our Bishop, and all other bishops, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of God in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, <clears throat> we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine, by divine teaching. teaching, we dare to say, grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With joy and respect, let us share with one another a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. And I am peace with you. Peace. Peace with you.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy as you enter under my roof, but all you say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and glorify God by our life. Thanks be to God. Celebrate.